the pumpkin. We'll use the orange yarn. Wrap the yarn around your little finger, and then bring it up to the next finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and middle finger. Working into a magic ring, make a loop around your middle finger, and pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger, yarn under the hook, and pull up a loop. A magic ring is formed on the middle finger. In round one, start with a chain stitch, and then work six single crochets. Finally, and move one slip stitch. Put one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook, and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's one chain stitch. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then what six single crochets? Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook. Then yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Such a V shape is formed on the side. Each V shape stands for one stitch. Place a marker in the first stitch through the underneath of both loops of the V shape. We need to mark the first stitch of every round. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook. Then yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. The second single crochet is done. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop through the ring. Then yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. The third single crochet is done. Continue to work three more single crochets in the same way. Six V shapes on the side stand for six single crochets. We can count the V shapes to check the number of stitches. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Finally, we one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Remove the marker.
insert a hook into the mark stitch, yarn under the hook, and put up a loop through the stitch. There are two loops on the hook. Then put the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. Tighten up. That's one slip stitch. The slip stitch is a connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Round one is done. In round two, start with a chain stitch and then work six increases. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Put one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then what six increases? Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. We work two single crochets in each of the stitches. The hook should go through both loops of the V shape. First, work one single crochet in the first stitch. Mark the first single crochet. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. One increase is done. There are two V shapes on the side. Continue to work 5 more increases in the same way. We need to work 2 single crochets in each stitch. Six increases are done. We can see two small V-shapes here. One is the slip stitch of the previous round, and the other one is the chain stitch of this round. Skip these two V-shapes and put one slip stitch in the first stitch. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. Tighten up. That's one slip stitch. The slip stitch is a very connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Pay attention to the yarn's tightness during crocheting. 
If the yarn is too tight, we can insert the hook easily. If it's too loose, the fabric will be out of shape. Round two is done.